Welcome to Polish Cinema Australia. With you on location, Robert Kolodzi in the beautiful Wrocław in Poland, and we are at the Nowe Horizonty Film Festival. And I'm absolutely delighted to introduce one of Poland's and the world's leading filmmakers, Agnieszka Holland. Welcome. Hi. Hello, everybody. Thank you. Uh, Agnieszka, you've had a very illustrious career since, since the 70s uh, with many films that, that you've made, both in Poland and overseas. And now we're here with Mr. Jones. What inspired you to make that film? Um, I read the script, which was sent uh, to me by the screenwriter several years ago. And um, um, normally I told to myself that I would be not doing any more historical dramas about the real characters on the base, um, um, on the background of, of um, of um, terrible uh, human disaster. Uh, but when I read the script, I understood that the story is as important as um, contemporary political story and that it's um, very relevant and um, very painful, but also giving some kind of the, of the inspiration of courage. And um, um, it speaks about the Welsh journalist, young journalist, who in the 30s, early 30s, traveled to the Soviet Union, and he discovered the um, uh, great Stalin's famine um, in Ukraine, and reported it to the world with a lot of problems. And it's the story of the, of the responsibility of journalism, media, um, governments, of the fake news, of corruption of media, of um, the cowardness of, of the of their politicians and uh, indifference of the populations, societies. So it is something which we are facing today. And this historical uh, historical story is some kind of the warning. Uh, and also, as I said, the inspiration. Yeah. I mean, it seems that there hasn't been really much coverage in terms of feature films on this important topic so I think it's great that you're covering that yeah it's a bit untold story mm, it was very few uh, books and 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 films um, um, dealing with that and it didn't enter the like general global conscience of the people so I hope that my film will be helpful here now just stepping back when you look at potential future film projects, what sort of key ingredients do you consider? Some kind of the challenge, some kind of the, you know, mystery, which is, uh, which needs my involvement and the journey uh, to discover, or to, uh, at least to, 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 to make the attempt to discover. I, um, if I know very well how this film could be made immediately after I, I, I read the story or the script, I, I'm not tempted. I'm tempted when exactly I feel that I need to go out from my comfort zone to do this, to mm -hmm. tell this story. And um, uh, obviously over the recent years uh, you've been spending more time uh, producing uh, big international productions and in the US uh, House of Cards, congratulations on that. Um, how different is the American filmmaking landscape to Europe? Well, in future films, it's um, the independent cinema are less um, important, and um, also the um, public funding is practically non-existing. So, uh, it is easier to make controversial, complicated, and not um, commercial movies in Europe than to do it in states. Uh, and the period for, for for independent American cinema, starting late 90s, is not very, you know, not very good. Uh, so um, in America in the last um, 10 years, I was doing mostly the ambitious television, it means TV series. And I was lucky enough to participate in several really important mm -hmm. and, and original TV series. I did some episodes of The Wire, I, I, um, I formatted uh, Treme for HBO also. Um, House of Cards, you mentioned, yes. The Killing, um, The Affair like good stuff yes uh, but I, I i told to myself that and i did some series in poland as well um, in 1983 for netflix and before it was uh, prime minister for um, for a political political tv series 10 years ago but um, i told to myself that i will be more resistant to accept uh, the tv series in the future i think that i did like enough 
of okay. that mini series I like. Interesting. And Agnieszka, you mentioned uh, Poland. Now, at the box office um, in Poland, Polish films are quite popular compared to many other countries, uh, like perhaps in Australia, where American productions are very mm -hmm. popular. How do you see the Polish industry today, the filmmaking industry, and where do you see it in the future, perhaps? Um, we are at the crucial moment because very much depends on the on the on the on the concept of the government how how intrusive they will be in the in the in the subjects and the content and the personal choices of um, of the filmmakers and how much the cinema will remain independent to the to the political agenda. Uh, I think that we have a lot of talents and the, you know the the creation of a Polish Film Institute and the independent um, um, film founding in uh, 10 years ago or even more. It was, no, it was actually but maybe 15 years ago. Uh, it changed the landscape of Polish cinema and opened, you know, opened the, 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 the um, forum for the, for the young talents. And there's a lot of young filmmakers, there's a lot of women talented filmmakers. Um, who did several future films. I no, think that is a b better situation than in most of the countries. And the, the Polish yeah. audience is uh, quite quite excited by Polish movies. Yes, and for many aspiring young filmmakers, what advice can you provide to them? Be yourself. Uh, Polish cinema is gaining more popularity in Australia over the last couple of years, and are we going to see you in Australia perhaps next year? I hope so. I hope so, and you, I really, you know, I really want you guys to, 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 to support and, and to watch Polish cinema because I think it's worth it. Well, we know how busy you are, Agnieszka. Thank you very much for your time, and we look forward to seeing you in Australia you. next year. Thank you very much. Thank you.